All right, today we're going to learn about Google Forms. If you go to your apps in the corner here, and up will come all your apps, you're going to select Google Forms. You can also get to it by putting the Google uh, bar docs.google.com slash forms, and this will come up for you. Today we're going to take a look at two options for Google Forms. Um, we're going to start with the blank form. Click on the plus, and here you'll come up with your blank form. Uh, let's give it a title. Today we're going to do favorite ice cream flavors. That will pop up in your title. You can give it a form description if you'd like. Today we're not going to. Our first question is, what is your favorite flavor of flavor of ice cream. Sounds like a very hot day like today. Question. All right. We're going to give that a multiple choice option, but as you can see here, there's many um, choices to choose from of what type of question you're asking. Short answer, paragraph, multiple choice, check boxes, drop down, a linear scale, multiple choice grid, and then you can also put in the date um, or the time. All right, but we're going to go with multiple choice. First option, we're going to go with vanilla. Second option, chocolate. And third option, we will do uh, strawberry. Don't worry, those of you out there um, that like something other than that, we're going to give an, another option. This one's going to be a required question. But to add another question, we go to this icon with the plus, add in a new question. And, oh, I'm sorry. On this one, we wanted to put other. That will um, allow us to do the second question. All right, the second question, I'm going to make it a short answer so students can fill in what the other is. So if you selected other on the first, first question, what is your favorite flavor? And students will be able to add in their question or their answer. Um, we're not going to make this a required one because um, some people are not going to require it. So that's a nice feature in forms. Um, to look at these other options that you have, you can add a title and description. You can add an image to this. So let's add an image. We'll click in there. We'll go to Google search and we're going to type in ice cream. Search and Google will come up with a number of options. I think just select this one. And there is our picture. It's a little big, so we're going to resize it. Ooh, really big. So we can size it down. Make that a little smaller. We can center it in the middle. And say, yum. Um, these little dots will allow you to move it somewhere else into your form. I'm going to move up to the top and we have now an image, a question, and then an, an option for a second question. Um, and you are also are allowed to add in um, a video. It must be a YouTube video at this time. Um, and here you can add another section if you want to separate your um, Google form into different parts. Um, sometimes when they're longer, they get a little um, tedious when they're too long. So if you add a section, then it gives it a little bit better um, formatting. All right, up here you can see that you can have different add-ons. Uh, we'll talk about that later in um, our, my presentation. You can go to the color palette and change up what things look like. You could change the color background that's here. Um, you can add an image, so let's do that. Um, we're 
going to go, let's see what's here. This says work and school. Mm, yeah, none of those really seem to go with what we're doing today. So we're going to go to food and dining. Maybe they have something with ice cream. So you can see that some of these have um, gifts where things are moving. Uh, they won't um, actually move when the students are using them uh, from what I've been told or seen. Um, barbecue. That one has some ice cream, so let's choose that one. And so then you select and your theme will come up here in the background. That looks to be a good theme. All right. Um, all right. Here you can preview what the students will see. And there is our form. Um, if you need to edit it any, you go back to this icon and change whatever you think needs to be fixed. Um, oh, I know what needs to be fixed. I like to add in one more question. And the question is, what is your name? Name is an important one. That way you can know who's giving this. Even though if you select um, their uh, username, um, sometimes it's just easier if they have their first name. So we'll give that a short answer option. It is a required question. All right. And you can look at the settings. You can restrict it to just people in our district. Uh, you can collect their email address so um, it will automatically pop up. Um, you can limit them to one response. Um, and you, they can, you can allow them to change their answer. And then they can also see a summary of responses. So this time I'm going to let them see a summary of responses. I'm going to save there. And when I send it, um, you can either email it to them, you can embed it, or you can do a link. I usually do the link. I shorten the URL. Then I make a copy of it and put it into our Google Classroom. Those are all different options that you can use as well. You can add it, also uh, share the form through your Google Plus community, Facebook, or Twitter account. All right. Um, we are going to preview the page and act as if we're taking um, this little survey. So this is car. My favorite flavor, I'm going to say other. And it is coffee. I'm going to submit. And we'll submit another response. And let's be Doug. And his favorite flavor is vanilla. So he chose one of those instead of the other. So he's not going to do the last question. Submit. We'll submit another response. And this time it's candy. And she's going to choose chocolate. Again, don't need to select the next question. Submit. And we'll put in another response. And our last response we'll do is strawberry. And submit. Oh, I didn't put a name there. So this one is. Um, Fabian. Fabian. What happens when you forget to complete a, a required response? It won't allow them to submit. All right, so we're going to go see the previous responses. And as you can see, um, we had an equal number of people choosing each, um, and then it tells us for that uh, what's the other one, then what the response is there as well. Um, if you go back into the edit this form, you can see the responses that have been given um, in a different way. It says four responses, so that allows you to know um, how many of your students have responded. So we click there. Um, it will show um, exactly the same thing that we did before, or you can go to your uh, create a spreadsheet and you'll have all the information in a spreadsheet to look at later. All right, I hope this helps um, you to use your forms. And signing off, this is Mrs. Carr.